Ever wondered how companies manage the risk associated with value fluctuations on an investment? The answer lies in a method known as hedge accounting. So what is hedge accounting? It's an accounting technique where entries to adjust the fair value of a security and its opposing hedge are treated as one. This approach seeks to mitigate the volatility created by the constant adjustment of a financial instrument's value, often referred to as fair value accounting or mark-to-market. There are three primary categories of hedge accounting, fair value hedges, cash flow hedges, and net investment hedges. Let's break these down. First, inception documentation. This is a formal procedure that solidifies a company's decision to achieve preferred hedge accounting on an executed derivative. Next, we have effectiveness testing. This test is performed both at inception and during the period the derivative is designated for hedge accounting. It's a crucial step to ensure that the hedge is functioning as intended. Then, there's the term highly effective. In the world of hedge accounting, this phrase is quite specific. It refers to those qualifying relationships that are expected to be highly effective in achieving offsetting changes in fair value or cash flows attributable to the hedged risk during the period that the hedge is designated. Collateral is another important term to understand. It's cash pledged to or from a dealer counterparty when the derivative is in a liability or asset position. Cash flow hedge refers to a hedge of the exposure to variability in the cash flows of a recognized asset or liability or of a forecasted transaction that is attributable to a particular risk. A missed forecast refers to a situation where the originally documented hedge transactions are not highly probable to occur. The term fair value hedge refers to a hedge of the exposure to changes in the fair value of a recognized asset or liability or an unrecognized firm commitment that is attributable to a particular risk. So, why learn hedge accounting? It has several advantages. It can help mitigate the risk associated with value fluctuations on an investment. It simplifies financial statements by treating the security and its opposing hedge as one entry. It prevents large swings in profit and loss statements by reducing the volatility created by the repeated adjustment to a financial instrument's value. Moreover, steady income statements can attract investment. To illustrate how hedge accounting works, imagine company A that holds a long position in the S&P 500 index, worth $5 million. To manage the risk associated with this position, company A decides to hedge it using two instruments a put option position on the S&P 500 worth $1 million and a long position in the 30-year US Treasury valued at $2 million. In this case, under hedge accounting, the journal entry for the marketable security position would only include the hedge done through the derivative instrument, the long put option on the S&P 500. In conclusion, hedge accounting combines the value of the security and its opposing hedge resulting in a more accurate portrayal of earnings for companies engaged in hedging activities. And that's it for today's session. Join in next time as we dive into another intriguing topic. This is Lenora, your learning lab.